This is a lecture from Open Tuition. To benefit from the lecture, you should download the free lecture notes from OpenTuition.com. So let's go back to um, the chapter and see what's coming up next. Takeovers. All right. So where a takeover is what's known as a share for share exchange. So in other words, you had shares in blue PLC and they were taken over by red PLC and you swapped your blue shares for some red ones. OK, you had paper before and you have paper afterwards. No cash has taken place. It's just paper. One piece of paper for another one. Blue for red. No capital gains. OK, so if that's no, you will either see the words share for share or you will see paper for paper. So it does not constitute a disposable for capital gains tax purposes as no cash is received and the taxpayer simply acquires the shares of the takeover company on a proportionate basis of the shares that you held originally. Simple as. OK. New, de new shares deemed to have been acquired at the same cost as the original shares. Now, that you're not going to get one of those in the exam because that's too simple, isn't it? Mixed consideration. This is where there is either one or more different types of share. So, for example, ordinary and preference. OK, so you had just ordinary blue shares. Now you've got ordinary and preference shares. Now, if these cost you £10,000, these two cost you £10,000 too. But you need to proportion the cost between those two shares in case you sell one or the other. Because at the end of the day, the whole thing still costs £10,000. And there's an example here. So thus, if a shareholder acquired a takeover of 300000 of ordinary and £100,000 of preference shares, then they have to allocate that cost accordingly so there are there's a there's a way of doing this that i'm going to show you it's quite logical and as long as you follow the the kind of questions that come up um, and work through it and think about it logically and use your common sense then you should be okay with this so we're going to have a look at example number four in may 2016 let me just move that out of the way there okay in May 2016, Mark purchased 4,000 ordinary shares in silver. So that's the original cost of those shares. Now, in June 2021, silver was taken over by gold. And Mark received two ordinary and one preference share, a mixed consideration, for each ordinary share he held. Sometimes with these, the wordings can be a little bit, how can I say, ambiguous. So be careful that you read the question carefully to see what you're getting. Now, immediately after the takeover, the ordinary shares are worth £5 and the preference shares are worth 2 Now, he sold the ordinary shares and that's the proceeds. So again, we know what the proceeds are. It's the cost of 12,000 that we need to do um, some calculations on and that the rules apply to. So let's have a look at how that works in reality. We're going to start with the uh, capital gains uh, um, computation. So we know what the proceeds are. That's 35,000 pounds that's come from the question. Less the cost. And we're not sure what that is yet. Gives us a gain. Now, in reality, you're going to get half a mark for that, for copying the question, for copying the proceeds. If you struggle with the rest of this question, and if you perhaps struggle with takeovers, you're going to struggle with some things as you do your, um, your um, learning. Do what you can get the marks you can, go away, think about it, come back to it. Okay. If you can't do any more, you can't do any more. But if you can, it might come back to you later. Um, always don't just go, oh, I can't do this. 
I can't do this, therefore you don't write anything down. There's a half a mark there for copying the question out. Make sure that you do that. Okay, so let's have a look. We're going to do some workings. Working one, allocation of cost. Label it up, write it down, underline it. This is what we're going to do. So what did he have? He had, okay, he had 4,000 silver shares and they cost him £12,000. Okay, bring the information from the question into your answer too. What did he get? He got two ordinary and one preference for each of those shares. And we now need to allocate the cost accordingly. So, if he's going to get four thousand uh, two for every ordinary, he's going to end up with eight thousand ordinary shares, and he's going to end up with four thousand preference shares. Okay. 2 times 4,000 is 8,000. They are valued at now, and this is where this is the important factor at 5 and 2 pounds, which gives us a total value of 40,000 and 8,000. So 8,000 times £5 is 40,000 and 4,000 times £2 is 8,000. Now, the cost. This is the allocation of the cost section. The total cost of those ordinary and preference gold shares is 12,000. And we would then allocate that between these two shares by pro rata from the, the 40 and the 8 which would give us 2,000 cost against the preference shares and 10,000 cost against the ordinary shares. And we got that by 12,000 is the total times 40 divided by 48 equals 10. And if you've only got two, then that's the balancing figure. So that 10,000 now needs to go into there, giving us a gain of 25,000. Okay, back to our notes then. Now, if there is some cash in there, okay, at the time of a takeover, where you sw swap one set of shares for another, as I've said before, there is no capital gains because you swapped paper for paper. If there is cash involved and you're getting cash at the time, then there is a gain and we need to work out the cash proportion and then deal with that accordingly. So we're going to use example four again, but the difference is that he, at the takeover, he got two ordinary shares valued at five pounds each and two pounds in cash. And we have got to work out the gain arising on the cash. Now, notice the difference in the questions. This asks you to work out the gain arising on the disposal because he did something, a chargeable disposal of a chargeable asset by a chargeable person. He disposed of the shares, uh, he, he disposed of, he sold the shares, and that's him. Okay. This question says the gain on the cash. That's a big hint. Okay. We're going to use exactly the same process, and I'm going to show you the model answer so that you can see how that works. So here we are with a model answer. So again, the question you need to ask yourself. What did he have? What did he get? 
and then we need to do the um, pro rata ring of the cost according to what he received. Now in this takeover he got 8,000 ordinary shares and if you remember rightly they were valued at £5 which gave us 40 The cash was £2 for every share. Oops, £2 for every share. And there were 4,000 of them. So he had £8,000 in cash. So the original silver limited share cost was 12 is then divided between the shares and the cash received from gold limited proportionate to the value as we did before so what did he have what did he get pro rata that uh, cost which never changes into those two now as cash has been received at the time over the takeover there is an immediate gain and the gain is the cash he received, less the cost that you worked out, which is there, gives us the gain. Every time you do one of these, you need to go through the same process. So take your time, go back to this section and read it again. Listen to the uh, uh, suggestions that I'm giving to you and practice these questions. They're not the easiest thing in the world, but if you follow the step-by-step -step process, write that down somewhere. What did he have? What did he get? What's it valued at? How do I apportion the cost? That's a major working. There's a lot of marks to be had with a takeover. Um, so it, it's important that you get it right. Okay, let's go back to the chapter. So the final section in this chapter is about exam technique, which you're becoming familiar with now. It's at the end of every um, chapter, hopefully. Not all the chapters, but most of the chapters. So section eight, ideal for them to be asking you um, these kind of questions to test your abilities, because there's lots of short, sharp rules that they can test straight away. Matching rules would be one of them. Um, because students might get confused with the 30 days the next 30 days previous nine days read the question carefully is it an individual is it a limited company you might get all sorts of different variations about valuing things or um, how much is the cost after takeover all of those kind of things or how many even how many shares did we get um, at takeover so there's lots of little rules that they can ask you as well as asking you a bigger section um, potentially so this first multiple choice question Winifred gave 10,000 shares in wills to her daughter during 2023-24. The shares were quoted on the official stock exchange list at 120 pence to 136 pence per share on the day of sale. She bought the shares in January 2017 for 4,000 pounds. What is the chargeable gain on the gift of the shares? So if you remember the rule for dealing with this. It was the average, wasn't it? So we've got 120 plus 136 divided by 2, which gives us 128p per share. Don't forget, it's always in pence. So if she's gifting 10,000 shares, then the proceeds show every calculation. Times 128 pence is, I'm going to move that over slightly so I can get it in, 12,800. So you're going to get marks for showing this, marks for the rule, marks for the calculation. Now the cost. Cost, 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 cost is there. 4,000. 4,000 is the cost. And she sold 10,000 out of the 15,000 holding. It's not a part disposal as we did um, previously. So that is cost 
and again show that working now i appreciate this is a multiple choice question and it's either right or it's wrong but if it was in a section b or a section c question show all the workings so 4000 times 10 divided by 15 is 2667 giving us a gain of 10,133 which you would then put in the box or there would be a b or c and you choose which one you want another type of multiple choice question herbert bought 50,000 shares for 90,000 pounds that's the cost in may 2012 that was taken over by black and they received three cash three pounds in cash and two ordinary one pound shares immediately after the takeover black plc shares were worth one pound 20 each what is his gain and the gain is on the cash at the time so let's do some maths with this one because i think we're going to need a little bit more space with that so he had cash fifty thousand times three pounds so he's had a hundred and fifty thousand pounds which is the market value the total market at the time and the shares fifty thousand times two times one pound twenty which is the value at the time is a hundred and twenty thousand so we've got that information from the question now the cost from the question was that so we need to now pro rata that because this is the figure we need we need to know because the gains position is proceeds he received a hundred and fifty thousand pounds and we need the cost and obviously if it was a full question you'd need to write it all out but obviously this isn't a full question this is multiple choice you only need a little bit so we're going to pro rata this okay we're going to pro rata this and it's 150 over 270 times 190,000 pounds and the cost is and i need to rub that out because that's actually only 90,000 let's get rid of that kind of got carried away there let's rub that out of there kind of got carried away okay so the total cost is ninety thousand pounds not a hundred got carried away with my hundred thousands there ninety thousand so 150 is the cash divided by the total times ninety thousand is going to give us fifty thousand and this would be the balancing figure which would be forty thousand so 50,000 is our proportionate cost, giving us a gain of 100,000 pounds. Okay, so the gain is 100,000 pounds. Now, as well as section A, you could get it as part of a section B. So some of the questions that we looked at in the previous chapter where there were several things that you need to do there may be one of those that's a share and you have to do some calculation and bring the answer into that final computation don't forget matching rules are so important to work out how many computations you need to do show all the workings and then obviously you deal with gains losses annual exemptions and so on so this is a very very important chapter